Students all across Minnesota headed back to school this week, many dodging raindrops on their way. The transition from the fun of summer to the more structured schedule of the school year can be tough for kids and parents alike. As parents try to help their students adjust to the school year, a routine that works for everyone is key. Establishing those routines, being consistent with their routines, I think that's a, and, and not assuming that they know, um, that because you've talked about it, um, that they understand the verbal directions, actually walk through it. Um, okay, this is what morning is going to look like. This is what after school is going to look like. Um, this is how we're still going to have our mom and dad time with you. Um, because that's hard, because the kids have had that time um, for many weeks, and especially kindergartners all the way up to kindergarten. Mm -hmm. So I think just uh, not assuming and establishing those routines and then checking back in and saying, how are you feeling? Do you, do you, know, are, are, do you think the morning's working? Just as important as a morning routine is an intentional routine for the evening. Three main things I hit on are uh, talk, play, and sleep. Um, you know, first of all, just talking with your child when they get home. You know, um, it shows them you know how interested you are in their school day. Helps them stay jazzed up and excited. Um, and then also, you know, they're taking in lots of information, and you know, research shows that talking about it helps you remember those things. And then play. Um, you know, for a lot of kids coming out of summer, all of a sudden this stuff feels very structured. Just fitting in some time to just have some very unstructured play in the evening can be, can be really helpful. And then sleep, you know, it's exhausting. And um, they're probably on a little bit more of a schedule than they're used to. So um, like 7 o'clock, it might seem early, but, um, you know, with everything these kids are doing during the school day, you know, getting in bed early or at least, you know, getting into that downtime by like 7 o'clock. Sleep is not just important for young students. Parents of high school students also need to stress the importance of sleep to their teenagers. Have a, a nightly schedule for how students, what time they go to bed, put some expectations on, maybe put um, rules on technology that at 9, 10 o'clock technology needs to be put aside or put out um, in a family space so that they're not up all night doing that in their room. All schools offer breakfast to students, which is another important part of a successful morning getting a healthy breakfast. We do serve breakfast here at Spring Lake Park High School every morning. So if kids either eat at home or come here and eat, a lot of students get here early and have a little social time with their friends before they get started. I think that can help so they don't have to jump right into classes. They get a little time to kind of mingle and kind of reconnect with friends. School is exhausting for all students, especially young children. During the school year, educators want to remind parents to take a step back and look at their overall family schedule. Not over, not over committing your family. Remembering and prioritizing what, what are we all about from four o'clock to eight o'clock, you know? And, and maybe it's important sometimes for us adults to just take a step back and reflect a little bit, say, okay, what are we asking our family to do? The transition time can be tough for everyone, but soon kids, parents, and teachers will settle into a routine and focus on learning and growing. For North Metro TV News, Ben Hale reporting.